Hi everyone, welcome back. Now, today's video is about one country that is very, very close to my heart. Actually, one of my most favorite countries ever, and that is Azerbaijan. So, if you want to know more about this beautiful country, then please do stick around. So, my friends, first things first, where is Azerbaijan located? Well, my friends, Azerbaijan is being bordered by the following countries. Russia in the north, Iran in the south, Turkey and Georgia in the west, and the Caspian Sea in the east. And my friends, their government is Republic, and their currency is Manat. Actually, my friends, Azerbaijan civilization is very, very old, but the Republic is very young. Why? Because my friends, for the longest time, they have been part of the Soviet Union, and they only got to be a Republic in the year 1991. And that's it. I think those are the information that you need to know about Azerbaijan in terms of location. Now, how about their culture? Well, I think staying there for a number of months, I could say that they have their own culture. But most of them would say that they have two major influences. Number one would have to be the Russian influence and of course the Turkish influence. That is why in most establishments in Azerbaijan, you would see two flags being raised. The Azerbaijani flag and of course the Turkish flag. Well, the next question would be how to get there. Well, my friends, you need a visa. And I think right now you can have it online. But during my time, my friends, I needed to go to Malaysia for me to secure my Azerbaijan visa. Now, why, my friends? Because Azerbaijan does not have any embassies or even consular offices here in the Philippines. So I needed to go to the nearest one, which is actually in Kuala Lumpur. And I waited for six days, which I think is okay, because at least I was able to tour around Kuala Lumpur as well. So it's like hitting two birds using one stone. Now, upon them giving you the visa, they call it entry visa. It would allow you to stay in Azerbaijan for 90 days. Now, should you wish to extend like what I did, my friends, you need to apply for a new one. And they would issue you a card that looks like this. This is the card. And this would allow you to stay in Azerbaijan for one year. Now, why did I go to Azerbaijan? Well, a lot of reasons. One of the reasons would have to be I'm so interested in learning more about Nizami Ganjavi. Now, Nizami Ganjavi wrote Seven Beauties, and Seven Beauties is actually the inspiration of my favorite opera by Puccini entitled Turandot, right? And Nizami is actually a very well known writer, and he's from Azerbaijan. So I really wanted to know more about Nizami. So what are the things that I love about Azerbaijan? Well, a lot of things actually, but the three major things that I love would have to be number one, the people, number two, the food, and number three, the places. So let's start with the people first. Well, my friends, the Azeris are very kind. They're very generous and they're very welcoming to guests. I stayed there for a number of months and you know what? I was able to build good friendships. Um, we became so close, I even called them my brothers, right? So they're all kind. Considering that it is a rarity for them to see somebody like me. Because my friends, I think in Azerbaijan, Filipinos are very, very few. Not even, I think, a hundred or maybe less than a hundred. So yeah, they're very kind. So I love them. I, I, I was able to have friends in Azerbaijan that I think would be my friends forever. Now, how about the food? Well, obviously, my friends, I love to eat. And I can say, my friends, that I loved all the food that I was able to eat in Baku. Now, by the way, Baku is the capital city of Azerbaijan, and I stayed there most of the time. And the food in Baku, my friends, phenomenal. Like, my favorites are, number one, dolma, especially with yogurt. Number two, pilaf, that's rice. And then, of course, siskofte. I just hope I pronounced it right. Now, in terms of dessert, my friends, I love their baklava and uh, also tea, of course. I think uh, the best tasting tea that I was able to taste was actually in Azerbaijan. And my favorite brand is this one, Azerkai. 
and I love it so much. Before going home, my friends, I hoarded boxes of Azerkai because I really love their tea. The, I think the best tea in the world, my friends. Azerkai, my favorite. So my friends, how about the places to visit? Well, my friends, if you have a lot of time, you may go out of Baku and visit Guba and Sheki and Gabala, right? But in Baku, my friends, a lot of things to do and a lot of places to visit. And I'll be discussing them one by one in the following clips. So please do stick around. So the first place you need to visit is Echereshehir. In English, it means Old City. And in here, you may find a lot of tourist attractions already, including some famous architectural wonders. And while you are in Echerchehir, please don't forget to visit the Maiden Tower because that is one of the most iconic buildings in Baku. Plus, in the Maiden Tower, you may see the perfect view of the Flame Tower. Next is the Azerbaijan Museum of Art. And my friends, I enjoyed my stay in this particular museum because I was able to see one work of Raphael from the Renaissance period, my friends. And not only that, I was the first Filipino to have visited the museum. Next, my friends, is the Haydar Aliyev Museum. You must not miss this. Why? I think one of the most magnificent pieces of architecture I have ever seen in my entire life. My favorite place in Baku. So please, do not miss this spot. Now, when I was in Baku, I learned a lot of phrases, but right now, I forgot most of them. I can only remember two phrases. Number one is, Nichidir, which means how much. And number two, Chaksal, which means thank you. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank my friends in Azerbaijan for making my stay in Baku wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Shoksal. And I'm very much hoping to see you again very, very soon. So that's it. I hope I was able to convince you to visit Azerbaijan, particularly Baku, because it is a very beautiful country. So thank you for watching and see you again next time.